This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little video on Ultimaker Cura uh, filament changing basically for Hue Forge. I had a request in the comment section and I figured why not sure I'll make a video because it doesn't exist out there. So um, first things first um, I don't use Cura anymore because it doesn't support Bamboo Studio or uh, Bamboo Printers I should say. I used to use it when I had my Creality Ender and my Anchor Make, both of which I don't have um, anymore. But I'm still fairly familiar with Cura and how to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and just show everybody how to do filament changes for your Hue Forge projects. So what you want to start by doing is you want to take your Hue Forge STL and you want to import it into Cura. I'm not going to show everyone how to make um, uh, the Hue Forge uh, photos right now in this video. I have a couple videos or more actually on my channel so make sure you check those out. So uh, with that said I'm just gonna look for a file here. I'm gonna grab the clownfish one. Import it. Here it is. And then I'm gonna open the clownfish describe file. So basically I'm looking uh, black, rainbow silk, orange and white. And what you want to take note of is the layer changes. So I assume if you're using Cura and you don't have a bamboo, you also don't have a color unit. So you're going to have to do all your changes manually by hand. So basically what Cura is going to do, it's going to stop your printer at whatever layer you give it. And then it's up to you to go and change those colors. So let's say you start out with black, put black in your printer. Then we go into Cura. We'll tell it layer nine, it's going to change to uh, rainbow silk and then layer 18 to orange, and then uh, layer 33 to white. And you're going to do all these changes by hand manually on your printer. So make sure you purge the filament properly when you're doing the filament changes, and make sure you're obviously nearby your printer to be able to successfully do the filament changes, or your, your printer is just going to be paused until you do something with it. So first things first, I'll show everyone how to do it. So you want to go up here to extensions, and you want to go to post processing and then you click modify G code. So I'm just going to clear all this here. Um, as far as uh, sorry, I'm going to backtrack just one second. As far as your print settings go, make sure you set those settings up properly. Uh, so they uh, match with the hue forge settings. Uh, I haven't used Cura in ages. So none of these settings here work with hue forge. Uh, I will leave it up to you play with these settings and adjust them accordingly so they work with Hue Forge. If you want to see a video on that, let me know. The entire point of this video is to be very quick. So I'm not going to go through the settings right now. So again, extensions, post processing, modify G code, add script, and then you want to go down to filament change right there. So right here, you want to do your first change at layer nine, add script, filament change again. I believe the next one was at 18. Add script, filament change. Last one was at 33. 9, 18, 33. There's your color changes. So basically with this, it's going to do your first color up to layer nine in this example. Layer nine, your printer will pause. You go to it, you do your filament change, purge it, let it print. Then once it gets to layer 18, it's going to pause the print again. It's up to you to go and purge the filament, change it, do all that. Resume the print. And then at layer 33, it's going to pause your print one last time. And it's up to you to go there, uh, change your filament, purge it, and do all that stuff and resume. Simple as that. So from here, now that we have the post-processing script done, you slice your file, export it to your printer, and boom. You're now ready to do filament changes on your printer. And there's no way really here to kind of see what it did. Um, yeah, no, there's no way to really tell. So you're going to have to rely on the post processing script and it will work. I guarantee it. You can click down here and it'll basically show you what you've done. So that's it. Quick little video on how to do filament changes with Cura. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching today. MikeBot out.